Hey Bethel, it's Pastor Chris here. I hope that you're enjoying some of the good weather we've had over this past week. I also realized that as we looked over the past few weeks, cases are up in Alberta. Many people are wondering, uh, what does this mean for them? I've seen a number of different families who've gone into quarantine over this past week and just frustrating uh, that we've been just dealing with different changes and it's hard to know what to expect. But at the same time, our God is still king over all of this. And I just think about this hope that we have in Jesus, this resurrected life. This is just, it's just as true today as it is any other day. And if you feel tapped out, if you feel tired, you feel worried, you feel annoyed at how all this is not going on, you are not alone. For the Lord is with you. He's present with you. His strength is with you. So we just want to walk with you every day through this, even if we don't always know exactly how we're going to do this together, because the Lord is faithful to do it with us. I have a few updates for you today. Not a lot, but we certainly want to connect with you and let, help you know with what's going on here at Bethel. The first thing is that we are going to be starting another reading plan this Sunday. I'll mention it in my sermon, but trying to cast and think through a vision for how we read scripture together going through the whole year. It seems like it's been a really good thing for at least some of you that have been with us on this journey, reading through the Gospel of John, uh, reading through the Gospel of Matthew and Lent. And so it seems appropriate that we'd actually would spend some weeks actually reading the book of Acts that tells the story following um, Jesus and the Gospels and what the church does filled with the Holy Spirit. And what's going to be neat about reading through Acts together is that it's actually going to lead us towards Pentecost, which we're going to celebrate together as a church after the week of 24-7 prayer. So it's going to all sync up where we're going to reflect on what the church does when it's filled with the Holy Spirit. How do the gifts manifest in their lives and lead them to witness of who God is? And how is the Spirit alive in you? And so I would encourage you, you'll, you'll be able to see the, the reading plan on our Reading Scripture Together page on our website. You'll see it on social media too, but please join us in reading that together. And I think it'll be great because then after Acts, we can kind of continue reading Scripture together in the summer, and I have a few ideas about that. I'd also like to restate a couple announcements that we had or said in this past few weeks and on Sunday. The one is that we're doing a diaper drive for the Bannerman Day of Action. So this is to help under-resourced people in our community, helping them with diapers, especially if you think about households that have multiple kids in diapers at the same time. I know this, it's a challenge. So if there's a wonderful way that we could support the people around us, our neighbors here, it is by helping them with diapers. And so we already have a few boxes of diapers in the back of our sanctuary. We'd love for you to help us and adding to that list or what Tom talked about, like building a pyramid, that would be great if we could do it. Please help us do it by dropping off diapers anytime during the office hours in the week, but also on Sundays if you come to worship. The other thing too that I mentioned on Sunday is that our Willowwood preschool program is getting up and going. Um, perhaps this is something your family has joined in on before, or perhaps it would help you because you have a three-year-old or four-year-old around your house that would they would love to have a place to go in the fall. The program is getting going and plans to run uh, later this year. If you would like to be part of this, your family, we'd love for you to join with us and ask questions. Their website is up. You can reach out, ask all the questions you have and the details go to willowwoodpreschool.com and I'm sure you'll get the answers you're looking for. That's all that I have for you today. My heart is with you. No matter what is going on in your life, I pray that God's peace would be upon you and uplift you. Even as you find good things to, to, to focus your time on, there are many days when we sometimes wake up and are not quite sure what to do with our day because we are still very limited. But God is faithful like I started off in this video and I believe he's faithful in your life. So go into the peace he has for you and we'll see you soon.